I've been begging. Yeah. Are we rolling? I'm gonna show the receipt. I don't really Should believe we that. Yeah, I'm no, about to leave. You want to get her, Kyle? Maybe. Are you serious or no? I feel like you would I mean, do that. I'm pretty Sarah, serious. You would do that. I've been begging to come on. So. All right. Uh, this is really good. Right. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, we could do that though. Me and Kyle are two of the owners, so. If Steiny does talk too you, much, you you do. Yeah. You own it. He yeah, does not have equity. In I don't. Know. I have equity in Happy Dad. Yeah. No, it's okay. crushing no, right no, now. No, no, that's awesome. So we're, you know, obviously we love the product. We're hoping for a big payday coming up. So. I feel like it's doing pretty well. <laughs> yeah, it's I see it really everywhere. Good. So. Okay, we have a. Uh, got like eighty employees now. Yeah. You you are you, you serious? tell her more about 80, the details. Yeah. So I kind of just. Do the front end. I am. I honestly am so proud of you and Thank like you. everybody. I know we've known each other for a while. I right? know. I really saw the grind. We used to be roommates, low key. You know. Yeah, we did for like a year. It's pretty crazy. Like the birth of Steve, all of that. Like I oh, saw yeah. all oh, of that. Really? Abby witnessed it all. I didn't know yeah. all this. Crazy. So you, guys have, you guys have known each other for a while. Yeah. Well, we when we lived in the clubhouse. Okay. Well, we have episode I think thirteen. Uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Sarah Safari's back. She. F- loves coming on here uh always hits me up like i gotta come on 4g stepping in uh <laughs> then we have abby abby rail Hello. thank you so much for coming on like thanks for having me I've am already... i gonna get a thank you yeah thanks Sarah. and kyle maybe yeah thank you both um no but i've been like a fan of you for a long time now so really yeah i have been i know who you are obviously uh so this is like a dream episode for me so i'm really <laughs> glad that you're here Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I yeah. never got gassed up like that, so. Yeah, I don't know what the, anyway. No, but anyway, so yeah. What originally made you a fan of Abby? Yeah, I want to know. Just, I can tell you're like a really passionate person. And like, you're very supportive. And uh, no, that's literally what you I've been. You can tell that from my social media. Yeah, but like, like Support- I'm a fan of, I'm a fan of streamers. So I've seen you before. And I just could see like some of the things that you do do. And I'm just like, damn, like this girl's. A supportive one she's amazing so that's kind of why i reached out okay that and we did obviously have uh your ex on the pod mm. and uh getting right into <laughs> it Damn. <laughs> no we had son. we had rice and aiden on and like he brought you up so i was like yo she'd be great to have on yeah my friend uh i was having like a birthday dinner the other night and i was telling them like yeah i'm about to be on this podcast my friend kenzie was like yo so there's this clip i wasn't gonna send it to you because like why would i and I was like, what? She showed it to me, like him just dogging me. And I was like, so confused. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't even remember what he said. But I will say, I want to like make it clear. I have a lot of respect for Rice. He's an OG and he did do our podcast. So I do respect him. I didn't know you guys had that history at all until that podcast. You said you're a huge fan of her though. Yes. I, I didn't. I only saw a small clip. But I, didn't so know, I didn't see the whole. I didn't know you guys were thing. together like. So that kind of changed everything. But uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to just talk about that, because I don't even remember what he said. What did he say that you saw? He just said, like, I hate that bitch or something. And then just said, like, he paid for my surgeries or something like that. I had a boob job, which I feel like is pretty standard. Um, Yeah. (laughs) But he also didn't pay 20K for it. That's not true. What Um, what do you mean? Like the the price wasn't actually 20K? No, it wasn't. What was it? Um, It was 10 or 11 because I knew the surgeon and I had like connections. So we like, I got it half off. I was going to pay Quick for it. Quick little story tag. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. It was just like knowing him through people. Mm-hmm. But um, anyways, we actually split that. I think I paid four or 5K and he paid for the rest for my birthday. So yeah, I mean, no. if he wants me to write him a check, I can. No, I don't know if he wants check, that. But No, I get it. I mean, yeah. you guys were together when he did that, right? Yeah. And I mean, he also made a whole YouTube video about it documented it and everything and i was okay with that and allowed him to post it and make money off of it but long story short 10k is like kind of cheap too they like i don't know how if you're happy with the whole procedure it was worth 20 but since i knew the surgeon yeah i got it for i'm pretty sure it was 11 yeah i would have probably done 30 40k on that yeah it was they did a great job he did an incredible job so i was like the only reason i went to him is because he was the best oh really yeah but uh yeah, pretty much that whole situation. I just don't really get why he's still bringing me up. It's been almost four years. I'm like, bro, I are think, you okay? Uh, this is what well, I, I guess like, we what? asked. What's the most expensive thing you bought a girl? Or yeah. We were talking about that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Weren't we? Yeah, you think, were. But. Yeah, that's yeah, I why. watched it. Well, I feel like he probably bought that for his new girlfriend, too, because when they started dating, she immediately got one. So 
but that's kind of a flex on him yeah i I I mean i feel like what's the what's the problem like you did something sweet for somebody and it's just kind of like i agree if if we're ever dating guys the santa claus of racks eh (laughs) he's baby like that's not a bad guy to date if that's what you're looking for do you agree yeah no i mean in hindsight i would have not done it yeah but at the time you know it worked out yeah i mean i'm not honestly too like that's something i want to do for my significant other if i'm in a good That's happy a relationship i feel like like you're a, you're a boss for that yeah you know yeah i haven't done it yet just because it hasn't come into conversation but i would definitely like i would that's something i would do i don't know if you would do that me uh, probably not just because why just not my style yeah what do you think about that but i'm not hating but on what it. if it was I'm like your wife it. and she was like maybe a later wife. Yeah, yeah like, like you're I mean, you're well, like that's a that's a, that's a long-term investment yeah like I feel you're like, gonna be with her forever you want to like probably see that the best you can get, right? I agree. I mean, I mean, it, if she if she is like, "Hey, I'm really into this. This would make me feel like more secure," and you're like, "Let's run it." Yeah, like, that's a win win. Hundred percent. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you're not gonna hate looking at them. Yeah, I agree. No, that's that's my whole. No, it is. It is dope though. It is a flex. I I think it's a flex, and I'm honestly very fond of them. Like, if I'm supportive of that, I don't know, how, Sarah. You kind of build yours through. Yeah, some the bench press. chest press. Yeah, no. But I, is it different or? It's definitely different. That's not your. That's not who you are. No, I wouldn't. I don't. Okay, so uh, how do you feel about now looking back? Because something that I think about is how like a lot of these guys like, and I'm not taking sides, but like guys kind of bring these girls in, put them on really hard, and then they feel some type of way when they blow up and they're like not together anymore. Is that pretty fair? Yeah, I just feel like the our relationship started and it happened and it was natural and flowed and we were just like caught up in it and he was like hey like I want you to be in my videos and at the time now looking back knowing more information about the space he knew that couples videos would do better so he knew that it would what, get the like views YouTube? yeah so he knew that yeah, couples so videos if a guy would, has a channel you and Brad have that going kind of we're not together but it looks like a couple when it blows up I think for a guy, especially if a guy has a male like dominated audience and he's posting with a woman, it will do better regardless. Yeah, hundred percent. No shit. But does any uh, do you guys understand like from their standpoint where it's like, yo, me tagging you, putting you in these videos, it definitely like. Yo, I never yeah, got no, tagged. I mean, I and you guys blow up way faster than guys would. Yeah, like when I met him, I think I had like hundred k, and by the time we broke up, I had like five hundred, and so I mean, I mean, uh, the last eight months of our relationship. I didn't even want to be in a single video because he wouldn't really like now he's a great creator. He's good at what he does. If you like that type of content, but I, I wasn't my being myself. I, I felt very unhappy with, um, I don't know. My life just changed so rapidly yeah. and I wasn't really sure what type of message I wanted to send or who I want. Like I didn't plan to be an influencer. Mm-hmm. It literally just happened. So not I feel bad, like not a bad coincidence though. Oh, no. I mean, it's changed my life. I mean, when I say pee on your wrist, too. I do. I see that. I do. Yeah, yeah. Timepiece trading. Really? Shout out. What the fuck? When did you go to them? Uh, I was in Miami. That's so fucked up. I should get a commission on that, but go ahead. Um, Anyways, where was I? Oh, I was saying. uh, Those fucking guys. What was I saying? You were saying you weren't planning on being an influencer? Oh, yeah. I, I Honestly, I'm a shitty influencer. I'm really not that good at it. I don't think I was meant to be an influencer because I'm more of a like one-on-one person but anyways yeah with him I feel like he had an image of what he wanted me to be Mm -hmm. and so I looked up to him so I kind of followed that and then once it was full blown in my face I was like I don't like this yeah I don't like who I look like this isn't like an accurate representation of me no I get that so then yeah but TikTok is what really blew me up Mm -hmm. so when we broke up I was at what five max 600k and then we broke up um my best friend at the time, Daisy Keach, she was like, you have to do TikTok. And I was like, it's so cringe. I can't. Mm-hmm. She's like, Abby, you have to do it. That's when I blew up. Yeah. Like hard. I've seen your TikTok. Really you crush on there. Yeah. I don't even post anymore on well, there. Well, when you but were. When I was, yeah. yes. And it was so fun. We did a content house together, all that. So I really, in during that time, he was definitely not happy right. about what, it. What happens when, when you start to get like paid like that? Mm-hmm. Do you kind of... If you're in a relationship and you go to dinner, are you guys are you paying for the bills ever? Just curious. Um cuz I know you're starting to make you starting to make crazy money. Yeah. Um there's been times where that has happened in the past. 
Is that like a thing? I mean, what? Well, I don't yeah. know. No, I, I think that's that. ultimately fair. I if I'm sitting down at dinner, one you don't on really one, pick I, up the tab. I always will put my card down for whoever else is there. Or like in a, in no. a date setting. In a date setting, I will always put my card down. If it's me and like my friends, I mean, I'll put the card down. Usually, they Venmo or like Zell me. But if it's on a date setting, I'm always putting my card down. It's a no brainer. I like feel with a boyfriend or just on a date. Either. I feel like you kind of date betas though. <laughs> I feel different, like especially That's not now. Shade. I'm so sorry because I feel like what you're beta not like means a, like, like just more pussy of like the, like like you take lead in the relationship. Like you know what I mean. Like you tell that dude, like yo, we're going to dinner here. I got the bill. Fuck you. Is that, <laughs> no, it's is not that, a is that out of pocket. Thing. It's just like I feel like I'm in the position where I can put my card are you down. De- are you dealing with that right now? What do you mean dealing with what? Are you dating a beta right now? No, not a beta. I'm not. No. How come you're so closed off with your relationships? I'm closed off about everything on social media. Do you? Would I you keep switch that pers- up and keep your shit behind the scenes now? A hundred percent, I have. Yeah, never again. After that nightmare that I lived with him, hell no, I would never do that again. Unless it was like my husband, and yeah. I was like, hey, like. I don't really understand why these dudes like put these chicks on so hard. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't tag. I've never tagged one chick on my story ever. I've gotten a few tags. Well, but like I'm not with you. <laughs> have you ever yeah, been yeah. in love? Yeah. Yeah, I have. Oh, and yeah. you just but was that before you started social media? Uh, no, even during. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, hey, that that might be you. Um, I'm just a super like family oriented. Yeah. Really. If you had a baddie, you would tag her and put her on. No, I would not. What? Are then you every fucking. Are you scared yeah. of other blue checks sliding in? Yeah, hundred percent. That's fair. But if That's you were dating, if you were already dating a poppin' chick, you would like. If I knew she was loyal, but like I also don't want like some big names fuck with me. No, I feel that. And For me, it's also like, I mean, I would never date anyone like I dated. Like I feel like I've really, I just turned 26. Wait, did I miss something? No, 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 um, you're good. No, I just turned 26. So I feel like I'm just especially more myself now. Like I'm very Southern. I feel like that's kind of when I found myself. Way. When yeah. I was like 26 and I figured out like what I really wanted to do. Yeah. And I need a, ma- a Southern man. Like I need a man. Like a guy who's handy around the house. Like not even just that, just a man. Someone who, who exudes that like. Can you define that? Because I probably have a lot of those traits, but for anybody else. Well, I think it's important like the masculine and feminine energy to be like. So you like, think you have very masculine energy? Yeah. I fucking help put together that piano right over there find me fucking five just of the people that can do that. i think i have more masculine put energy this table than together you, from Ikea. what i think i have more masculine energy than you give me an example i don't agree with that at all an, an example isn't coming like to my mind but i think if we're both around people i think it's just something agreed upon okay but could you go back before she interrupted what would you say like our three traits for alpha or southern man three traits yeah. i mean I don't know. Three like, green flags you look for. Three green flags. Yeah. Okay. Like good personality. Not uh, big headed, but confident. And humble. Yeah. Humble, but like also actually, strong. Like also yeah. not like somebody that can be like slapped around. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So you're not going to be pushed around, but you're going to stay humble. Yeah. But you know what you've accomplished. That's yes. something that I have too. Exactly. What, what would be your third? I feel like being handy um, around the house is something I kind of lack. Really? Is that like a big thing? I thought you just said you built that know. thing. Well, I'm going to get more handy around the house, I think. Like, just do more, like, manly shit. Yeah. Like, maybe, re- like, the roof has a few missing shackles, so I'm going to get on the Don't hurt yourself. No, I can handle Don't it. Don't get shackles. hurt. Shackles. I could do that. <laughs> yeah. Shingles. I love hunting, fishing. Uh, I'm very religious, too. Are you religious from South? Yeah. We're both I mean, Christians. Yeah, I'm yeah. a Christian. Yeah. So Definitely. I go to church every Sunday. Something that I really, yeah. Every Sunday? Yeah. Wow. Do you? No, I don't. What? Not every Sunday. I go sometimes, but not like not religiously. <laughs> you say so you don't go every Sunday. I do. I yeah. miss a couple. What if, if I, I, I do miss a couple, I hear from my parents. Your, what's your church? What well, Jewish person <laughs> pretends to be Christian? I'm not Last sure. year, Jewish? <laughs> That's like yeah. blasphemy. Bro, <laughs> chill the fuck out, bro. No, I just <laughs> never heard of that. Like, <laughs> this, she's from Louisiana. Like, I know. Obviously, she's oh, not so going to want to hear it. Yeah. I got you. Dude, we, we also have Jewish people there. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't. To the one that you go to? No. Fuck. But yeah. What? Okay, yeah, I fucked that one up. But whatever. Just disregard that. Because I'm open to everything. Um Yeah, that's good. One thing he's really good at is trying to find things that the woman likes and then piggyback off them. Oh yeah. I what the fuck does that even mean? 
What does that mean? Oh, nothing. It was utter bullshit. Just ignore it. Wait, that. what does that mean? Cut that out. That was No, Sarah, wait. Cat. What does that actually mean? Like you're picking her interests, right? And then piggybacking off them. Like she, you're trying to, you know, she's- So wait, you're trying to say I'm full of shit. <laughs> no, not full of shit. Just um, capping. So you're Jewish? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, is that an issue? Or? No, no. I mean, is that a deal breaker? I, I think any way that someone connects- I'll, if, hey, is, I'll fucking convert if the, like, if the times, if it makes sense, I'm open to anything. You're yeah, good. You're fucked, bro. You're not a you're southern good, guy. You're no, good. Like, you're just not even close, you know? To what? Just like a southern, a southern I can get guy. fucking southern. I swear, I've, I've- I can get down. I've gone fishing and I've gone hunting and honestly, like- That's pretty, I mean, you know. Yeah. I've played Big Buck Hunter a few times, like shit like that. Like I've done, and I listen to I listen to some country too. You do? Yeah. I like- uh, You were snoozing at Morgan Wallen the other day. <laughs> okay, that's fucking crazy. I were love really? Morgan Wallen. Oh my yeah, gosh. It took me a stuff. minute. Like I uh, listened to his, obviously his big songs, and then I started his album, and yeah, I know every song now by heart. It's just good. His yeah. album's fire. He just, he brought like hip hop uh, beats and kind of like that essence of what- people who like hip hop like and mix it with country to where it like drew in a different crowd. Mm. And then he also sprinkled in some classic country to where like the other people that might not have listened to country started listening Sorry, to him. To country. And then they're like, wait, I, I, I love this guy. <laughs> I couldn't have said it any better. And now they're listening to like full blown country stations. He's really brought in a whole new audience. Like I, that's something that you notice and that I appreciate. But uh, Sarah, we haven't really talked about you at all. If you want to just go in, because she kind of told us what she looks for. Like, what are your? You got to have some the, things that like you look qualities for. I look for. Yeah. Um, someone who's like career oriented, whatever that is. It doesn't matter what it is. Like dedicated. Okay. Um, good personality. Mm. Humorous. Yeah. Um. Yo, you're, you're and kind. You kind of check these boxes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that funny. Am I I'm just career artist. Dude, don't sell your fucking self short. <laughs> Have you seen the last three Nelk feeders? The what? The last three yeah, Nelk feeders. Yeah, they feed were funny. How fucking funny is this guy? They were funny. Yeah. Well, like, is it... If if we all go to the gym tomorrow, which we're, we're going to do, you're obviously invited, but I don't think I that's I don't work thing. out, but like... Do you want to? Um, I probably should at some point in my life. So, yeah. I want to build my butt more. That's like my goal. With like a BBL or natural? No, natural. <laughs> What does a BBL cost? I don't know. I, I think wouldn't, more than I a, wouldn't put my life on the line. Okay, well, I'll fucking, I'll match that 10K and go up to 15. You're good. You're good. You're good. Price no, I'd rather is coming in, right? <laughs> <laughs> we just had a meeting the other day, so. Yeah. For no. what? Steiny's getting a big brand deal on the pod, so he's going to have some extra cash flow. Okay. I'll fuck, BBLs for everybody. I'll be the Santa BBL. <laughs> BBLs for Santa everybody. BBLs. I'll buy BBLs for everybody. There's only like 2,000, right? I have no clue. I haven't I'm going to buy five it. BBLs in one month. Okay. Yeah. That's a flex. Sarah, do BBL, you want one? No, I don't want one. Thank you. But BBLs, I think, are more than a boob job. No fucking way. Really? I, don't I have know. no clue, but all I know is you can die easily. So From how? Because, like, you have a big artery in your butt cheek that if they pierce it, it's just kind of like... You bleed out? You know, gone. I'm pretty sure. No, people have died from that, for real. Well, I don't want anybody to risk their life. For right. That's like what that. I'm saying. I yeah. mean, if it was important to them, maybe, but... Yeah. No, no. What were you going to say about the gym? What? You were going to say something about the gym. I don't know. Well, <laughs> you said we're all going to the gym. Oh, yeah. No, we're all going to go to the gym. So I want to see. Perfect. Abby, obviously you're invited. Okay. Uh, I got to do some shit. I'm going to mow the lawn in the morning before we go if you want. Like, if you're going to be here, I might be doing some shit outside and then we'll all go. But. Uh, and change the shackles, I think you called them. <laughs> I don't know if that's really <laughs> I mean. No, I got to. You can't I, start a lawnmower. <laughs> I guess I can. Lawn? And I can do a leaf blower too. There's leaves and shit all over the place. I'm telling do you. we have like, a lawnmower here? I put out two fucking mousetraps so in the back. It's not even a lawnmower on the premises. We have one. I put two mousetraps out in the back, and I fucking, sometimes at night, because these guys, like, get kind of scared, I'll fucking make rounds in the house and make sure no one's pulling up here. <laughs> I know that's crazy to say. That's not even funny. I actually make rounds. I'll go here to the kitchen, hit something, and check outside. You're a protector? Absolutely. Yeah. I love that. That's awesome. You're kind of a protector, too. Yeah. That'd be kind of I'll, funny. Like a Robert probably like would come in and think like <laughs> they have you outmatched, but like you're kind of a beast. Thank you. Yeah. And then you might actually win that battle. Thanks, is that, is that, that crazy to maybe say? the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was nice. So anyway, what you were saying, we're going to the gym tomorrow. Yes. You, me, Kyle. Yeah. We're working out. I know. Is that, is that like, have you ever worked out with a chick before? 
No, no like seriously. I'm trying to think. I don't think I've ever done that in my life. Steiny, I've worked out with you before. You worked out in front of me one time. <sighs> I mean, staring. I must have been like, like maybe like a group, bigger group setting, but not just like that. No. Yeah. I Too intimate. No. The one on one workout. You you were getting scared. You said you don't want to do hit. No, I thought you guys would be scared if I put you through like a bodybuilding workout. What if you come workout? through? Yeah. Why would we be scared? Because you couldn't handle the workout. We can handle it. Really? Yeah, we just don't diet like you do. Okay. You guys are kind of like flirting a little bit. No. I mean, we're, am we're, I tripping? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Abby, how long tripping. have you been doing social media for? Um, since I was twenty-one. Five years. Yeah. How long have you been doing Pretty it? Crazy. A year and a half. Oh, so real new. quick come up, huh? Yeah, pretty quick come up. Yeah, no, we were actually we talked on the phone something that Sarah's like Sarah's like a huge like, which I actually really respect because she's this isn't her thing, but she's like, yo, I'm not gonna do OnlyFans. You were talking about quitting it. She low key throws shade about like, oh, she's. I never OnlyFans. throw shade for. I do not throw shade. I swear to God. No, well, I get it. I get it. No, she has super respect. I have so respect what's making, for everyone who does. It's kind of just like. Shoots. But how you said you're you obviously AP mm, iced out. Mm-hmm. Probably like 20? Uh, 30? Really? Who knows? Wait, 20, 30 what? K on the watch. Oh. But anyway. I probably um, shouldn't say. But... Why, are you, why are you saying you don't want to do it anymore with that money being well, so good? It's not that I necessarily don't want to do it anymore because, uh, you know, I've made my peace with it and I have my own, you know, I don't do anything that's crazy. So uh, what, what you know, do you do on there? Luckily, I had a good fan base before, but I just do like, you know. Bikini pics. Yeah, yeah. Like stuff like that. Um, you know, it's sexier than like, obviously I would put on the internet, but so you're getting what you, it's not like. But why do you want to give that all up? If the money's so good. I don't. I'll do fucking. It's just more like if, how much, can if I ask something how much else comes, I, I probably shouldn't say. Yeah. I'll do fuck If I can make 40, 50 K a month, I'll do anything. Okay, don't that, sound too that desperate. Crazy? That was, kind that of was crazy. pretty desperate. <laughs> that, yeah, that yeah, sounds that crazy. Gay. You looked at Gabe, you looked at Gabe right when you said it too. I did not look at you, bro. You would do it too. <laughs> I, not to be weird, but if we wouldn't do any weird shit, but if my, me and that guy started OnlyFans, we might compete with you. I don't think. Yeah, you make might. crazy. You would make crazy you money. Maybe the first month because people would be curious. I'm not doing that shit, but like you're thinking about it. You I just feel said like. you'd do anything for forty or fifty. Well, it's like it's. Is it? Would you say it's relatively easy? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I wouldn't have been able to do it. And this sounds so funny. If I wouldn't have had my dad's blessing. Oh, my wow. dad was really like, dude, fuck it. So he was you, like, live your life. He was like, you're going to be like 50 years old and look back and be like, you're so stupid. Yeah. No, I agree. What's was, so bad about it, Sarah, if you're not posting like nudes? <clears throat> I think for me, it's just the idea of a paid wall platform personally, because I've helped girls like on the back end of their like photo shoots and stuff. And I like, I respect it. I like it. Like I like being a part of like their shoots. I just wouldn't. It's the idea of like doing a paid wall platform, even if it's like guaranteed X amount a month. I don't think I could get myself to do it. And I have. Um, what if you just did like exclusive like back rip Even back if I picks. was posting like my skincare, I think it's I can't me personally. I cannot get over the idea of pay wall platform. Pay X amount for this for me personally. It's yeah. just something I wouldn't do. Yeah. What about the people that throw you shade for that? Which I don't agree with. I at guess all. I don't really pay attention. Like I'm not really on the internet like that anymore as much recently in the past couple of years. So I don't really look or care. Yeah. Um, because it's kind of like it has drastically changed my life and my family's life. And that's all I care about. So it's kind of like anybody who had something to say, it might not be for you or, you know, but if you had the opportunity to do something like that and you saw that type of Yo, the funniest money thing. come in. It's no, like, the funniest oh. thing about that the, is the most <laughs> amazing thing for me is how like you can not show anything and still people are paying for that. Yeah, yeah I don't. That's get what that I don't part. like understand at all. What do you? How do you? What like? What's your response to that? When you're um, like not showing, you're, you show no nudity, but you're still yeah. raking it in. It's like what the fuck? That and that's the biggest mystery. The, to me. the other <laughs> thing I want to say about that is like guys roast chicks that have OnlyFans. Yeah, but guys are the ones that are fucking yeah putting money in your bank account. I didn't realize like, guys roast that. Like, I guess I haven't seen. Uh, it, listen, in my opinion, especially being from where I'm from, like I'm from the South. So obviously it was a huge decision. I was the last out of all of my friends to do it. Um, but like I said, I had a conversation with my dad and he's really, my parents are really young. 
So my dad's only 45. Mm -hmm. And he was like, dude, don't up. fumble this. That's dope that he, he was, was so like, supportive. That's yeah. insane. He was like, I know you. Your family knows you. The people who know you know you. And if someone has a problem with it, like, does it really matter? Yeah. No and one. I think I, I got so used to, you know, other people's opinion of me, especially going through all that stuff with, like, my last relationship and all that. Um that I just, I had to let that go a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So I kind of was just like, you know what? I'm just going to jump into this. But um, like I said, obviously it's not something I want to do forever. Yeah. I, I but, think every girl has that kind of phase. Yeah. And I will say like, Sarah, you're nice too. Cause you, you show abs on your IG for free. Yeah. For your guy fans. Like that's, you don't have to do that. That's nice of you. Yeah. Thank you. But uh, what do you, how are you going to, how do you let that bag go? And then what are you going to do after? Like, well, like I said, like I'm getting started in the Snapchat thing now. Yeah, I know. That's so, what every chick's doing. Snapchat's, Snapchat's low saving. Snapchat's where it's at. I love Snapchat. But it's yeah. saving It's saving chicks. No offense. How do you what mean? What do you mean saving chicks? How do you mean? What, I mean like. Well, because like you don't, don't got to do anyway. show. Yeah, like there's yeah. another opportunity yeah. where like. Yo, it's I can the just... opposite. Like it's PG. Yeah. yeah. PG. And they're getting stricter and stricter You're not on those. You're not allowed to. Yeah. Yeah, no. I really feel like that's a huge blessing. Snapchat is going to take a lot of people. Not maybe not off, but like maybe a lot of people off OnlyFans. Yeah, I mean, it's like more PG. You don't have to yeah. do much, and it's a lot harder, probably though. Yeah, yeah no, bro, it's it way more me, of a grind. It takes me one hour to post 140 snaps. Okay, well, what? Do you post them all at like the same time once, and just yeah? Okay. Yeah, I haven't even started. More like, just got, staying on top of it. More staying. It's yeah. the consistency. It's taking the photos yeah. and just staying on yep. top of it. Yeah, but if that's your only thing to do, then it's easy. But if you have other shit to do too, it's kind of tough sometimes. But we just forget about it sometimes, but yeah, I'm about to start grinding that. I haven't started yet. I Sarah, gotta Sarah, it. like, she's actually like, and I want to just give you your credit because you deserve it. Like, she crushes on there. Maybe you can uh, Thank you. give I'll me help some you. pointers. Yes, of course. She's like, I will help you after. For me, she's kind of like, I don't want to say an inspiration, even though you kind of are. Huh? But she's so motivated and she works so hard, and it's so something sweet. that like, yeah, I know, kind of. That's why I want you to come down here today, right? Because I want to learn from you, and you're like just so motivated. So I'm trying to mm. be more like her. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, that's a great quality. Yeah. Thank you, Steiny. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I was kind of treating this more of like a double date. Like, I don't know how you feel, but like, that's just, you kind of DM me like right away. Like, I've been a big fan. Like, yeah, like. Oh, I, you're saying, oh, now you're switching. Okay, so now he's That's what he does. No, you're like getting Kyle's used to it. like my boy I that's like fourth wheeling you. and it's like a us three thing. So I, you're saying I told you that I'm a big fan? Yeah. He gets, he does no. this. Have you been, have you been, have you been like a fan of like content outside of like rice and like nelk and stuff like that what do you mean like you're a nelk fan now of I mean, sarah's a diehard dude, they're like my she threw up a happy dad fucking post at like, like i she's love them free. oh i have the utmost respect for them i would see them in the mornings like i'd be getting up like going to the kitchen dying and they're like sat at like a long table like all of them with their laptops like grinding like focused i'm like holy shit like, that's a, that was a little, like, a little bit before are, your time. No, I was actually, I'm like, yeah, these dudes are I was actually, serious. I was working remote at that time. So How'd you like, when they're you on the phone? You weren't a thought at that time. Oh. <laughs> well, what? You weren't. They didn't know you Wait, yet. How did you guys get Steiny on Full Send? Um, no, or, he was working for Bob. So we kind of, we knew him through Bob. Kyle didn't want to hire me in the beginning. Why? Did you? Um, As an assistant. <laughs> I would never hire Steiny as an assistant. <laughs> Never. Please tell us. Could you please? Yeah, what? How we met you? No, but then, like, then why, Steve but, wanted but wait, to hire why, you as an why, assistant. Why did you just go so firm on that? I would never hire you as an assistant. Bro, why? You're a little scatterbrained. Well, like me. Like, I mean, like. You like to drink and fucking party. Why would I want you as an assistant? Yeah, but I could. I can. <laughs> you could pull it together? <laughs> yeah. Like, no I choose, pick and choose. Oh my gosh. Remember uh, Nino? That whole oh, situation? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. he slid on you? R.I.P. No. Oh. Yes, he did. He no, he did. Did he? More. I mean, I guess Katie he was a Bell. little like Katie Bell more. Did. Yeah, I guess he was a little like you know, maybe Socially him. Awkward. Socially but, awkward. Yeah. yeah. God bless him. Yeah. But, God bless him. You know. <laughs> okay, so anyway, we might you... link with him next week in Canada. Actually. Really. Well, yeah. I mean, I talk to him still, but it'd be kind of funny to see him in a video. Right. <laughs> Yo. So before you threw shade about me not being able to be assistant, which I was one of the. Probably top three Hall of Fame assistants. Goats. By were, my you, name. were you an assistant before? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And <laughs> we were riding high. Like it just yeah. someone really depended on me and we fucking Anyways, it's an off camera thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll talk about it just, All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll talk about it. Later. Yeah. Okay. 
But uh, yeah, no, I mean, um, what was the question? How I got in here? Or who asked yeah, that? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Well, yeah. Then he was working with Steve, and then I guess he's. I mean, we were just in each other's content, kinda, and then. Bob was on the pod and Bob and Steiny, like he used to work for Bob. You're right. So when me and Bob were doing the podcast, we wanted a third because I think Salim wasn't there or something. Because Salim or Salim wanted to golf all the time. So he kept flopping. And then we're like, Steiny, want to come on this episode? And then just slowly, slowly, slowly. The birth of Steiny. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh, that's what's funny about that. That's exactly how it happened. That's pretty much what happened, right? Yeah. And then was crushing the early pods. Like, I, I don't know. It's something I'm kind of passionate about. What, we like have podcasting? like a lot of we have a lot of big people on there too, dude. That's another thing that blows my mind. I know Elon. What Trump. y'all have built, I'm just like I'm so proud. I'm so happy. Yeah. Like anytime people like where I'm from or whatever like sees anything, I'm like it's crazy that what y'all have built and that you're having like you saw the, Elon the president one? of the United yeah, States the on one? your I podcast. The president, we had Andrew Schultz on. That's <laughs> crazy. I'm just I, I can't. I mean, it's just crazy. <laughs> It's crazy. Yeah, no, it is. No, it's yeah. right up there with Joe Rogan, which is just a crazy. I mean, we don't want to. What? I mean, he has a very successful, like everyone knows Joe Rogan's podcast, but it's like For y'all sure. are, y'all have your own lane, your own vibe, you know, your own brand that you've created that. You just know. being from the South, like, what did you think when you saw Trump come on? Not once, but he actually came on twice. I mean, I. I thought it was crazy. I mean, yeah. I thought it was. Did you was, watch either of them? Because I was on the second one. I don't know if you saw that. I watched clips. Um, the one, I watched half of the one that got deleted really quick. Mm. So that was the first one. Yeah, I watched half of that one. Um, and then the next one I didn't. I only saw clips. Okay. What, but, what, what, was I in the clips or no? Just I don't so you know, really I was remember. There for the second one. Yeah, no, that's that's awesome. Okay. That's crazy. Yeah, no, it's I mean, been just a that y'all are doing stuff at that level. It's been a blessing, like, and something I don't say enough is like how much I appreciate this guy too. Like, just yeah. really helping me out and uh, the, what we've gone through now. It's like, I don't know. It's just like something for me. Like I've learned to like appreciate more, and like we're talking about just really realizing, like, damn, like you know, if Kyle didn't give me that opportunity, I wouldn't have this platform mm-hmm. and ability to even interview you. Like for me. Elon and Trump are dope, but I'm sitting here with you and Sarah, and I'm like, this is fucking, this is crazy. That's kind. There's a point when you gas someone up. Yeah, that's a little the, bit Where it realistic. sounds like bullshit. Yeah. You know? What do like, you mean? so condescending. How, yeah. how's that crazy? <laughs> like, I feel like saying, how about you two? When, when did you two meet? Or like, how'd you meet? I think we met. And at what that, point did like Steiny's Riz, Riz stop working where you had to friends? <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay, that's funny. Because um, I'm not even in that zone yet. Because we know I'm that not even, I'm not even like thinking of you like that. Like I like, you're like my brother. Like no, like up. St- Sarah, brother. What, when did Steiny try to like Riz you a bit too hard where you're, you're so like really bad. had to just put him in the friend zone? Okay. I think Okay, was, one second. One second. Because that you, happened. He would okay, wait one second. I never tried to be not in the, I friend zone Sarah. You. <laughs> All truth is I friend zone Sarah. <laughs> you you stuttered a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you got a that's little. A, that's no. I, okay. I, I friend zone. That's fine. I can take. I don't. It's okay, okay. So then answer yeah, the question. Me. How you want to answer it? Yeah. Don't fucking. You got the wink from me too. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Um. We'd be at the gym or whatever, and he the night before he'd DM me at midnight or whatever, and then he'd go around the gym telling everyone, "Oh, Sarah, like Sarah hits me up at midnight. Sarah hits me up at like ungodly hours. This and that." When he was the one that's like sliding into my DMs with some like random bullshit. Yeah. Telling no, me I, I should I start slid. streaming yeah, this. For that. sure. I know. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I pick and choose. Like, and like then when, he, go ahead. Abby, he carries around a purse. Oh, okay. 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 There's no strap. Talk about masculine energy. This like, a, like a clutch? Yes. No, it's like a fucking, but there's no strap in. What the fuck? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Is it the satchel things that everyone wears? Or like, bro, no, I carry it around, was it's not like a pencil bag. Uh, with fucking yeah, 10 racks in it. I don't it understand this, what the big fucking deal this, is. Yes, he brought money, but it's like, get a fucking what do you backpack. need all that money for? Yeah. No, Rapid I just came chair. back from Vegas and I had it one time and Sarah's like, oh, I've, let me see that. I've never seen that before. And I was like, go ahead, check it out. And it was just fucking, I had my little pencil bag and she checked it out. Pencil it's bag? Like, it's not like a fucking. It was a Louis clutch. Okay. Louis. I don't think she gives a single fuck. <laughs> You crack me up. You oh. really do. Really? Yeah, you do. That's you're good, funny. Right? Oh, well, I appreciate that. Yeah, I think you are too. Like, I think funny. you're a great addition. I really do. Yeah, no, Steiny's hilarious. Steiny is a really good addition. Steiny's funny. Oh, thank you, sir. Wow, this is amazing. You have Stiney. a good vibe. If you guys want to like, you can keep going with whatever you want. <laughs> give any more compliments. It's to like throw you give. Out, you, you give very. Please, this is your platform to do it. I don't really hear too many fucking compliments from this side of the room. So if you want to continue, you give good energy. You know, you give a very welcoming presence. 
a playful like you can energy. automatically be your friend nothing more but you can automatically be Stiney's friend <clears throat> sitting be in what? a room <laughs> wait what'd she say wait right Abby I'm threw in the I mean, you get that vibe don't <laughs> nothing you more, nothing more nothing more like you're but, trustworthy like you know nothing's like like you wouldn't pull a move or anything you know you would I mean what? And if he did it'd be easy to just be like I'm like oh Stiney not tonight <laughs> <laughs> You get what I'm saying, right, Abby? A little bit. Yeah, no, no, I do. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's a good she thing. She just complimented though. me for my humor, and now you're just trying to throw shade. I'm not throwing any shade. It's a compliment. Like I know. I'm, what does that even mean? Like you're, you're saying, the type oh, of people could easily be like, "Yo, like, oh, it was funny." You're a friend. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> no, but you're like a good friend, best, best friend. Bestie. Jesus Christ, that's what you feel too. <laughs> we haven't even yeah. like. Tried any, you know what I mean? Like, like let's right, at least yeah, yeah, let's yeah. at least go out one time. No, I mean like we're already such good friends, <laughs> so it's like <laughs> we have such a solid foundation now. Yeah. So it's like you know. Yeah. Yo, what are we at? Oh <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, this is going well. But I know it's a joke. Your humor is a fucking mile behind mine. That's why you got to read comments <laughs> Damn, and now? fucking. Oh, you look young and old at the same time. Like that says the fucking one. You, I don't fucking say nothing. Me? My shit's. I'm telling you right now, anything that I say, I've never seen before. Right. It's fucking... I'm not going to be on the podcast tomorrow. Remember that. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, what about Kyle? Oh, yeah, guys... we're doing another one tomorrow. Yeah, we got okay. one more. This is my favorite one. Yeah, if done. you're going to chirp us, we could just. Yeah, I'm. We could go no. for dinner. No, 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 that's not happening. But wait, yo. Uh... Okay, I'm knees. so sorry. Get on your knees and apologize yo, to me right now. Shut the fuck up. I'm not getting on my knees, but I'm, I'm very sorry. Sarah. It really sounded when you said that like that had happened already before and you were like, not again. <laughs> Like, that's just kind of the vibe I got. Just this is so funny. You guys have, like, a fucking three-way text. Of like, yeah, let's no, no. I just, this is how we'll you know, shit I on Stein. I thought Stein. we were just into humor. Like I am. Know? No, I'm a f- I love yeah. that shit. You're crushing. Uh, <laughs> what about with, with Kyle? Does he give off that friend zone energy or what? No, he doesn't. Not as much as... So what is? how does he carry himself differently where I got to be in this fake friend zone that you're not putting me on because I didn't try anything, so now you're pissed off and now you're trying to friend zone me in retaliation? I'm pissed off that you didn't try. Wait, but how does Kyle not give off that energy? He's just more quiet, like more mystery to Kyle. I know. I think mysterious is a he good He takes thing. it in. You know what I mean? He takes it in and, and kind of just- Guy went upstairs and picked his best watch out for this shit. Like, best? No, my best one's still up there, actually. <laughs> but I just want to hear him say that. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Kyle. No, I awesome. know you pull girls. It's just, I'm just fucking with you. I know. Mid though, right? Mid girls? Yeah. No. No, I feel like you could pull. Yeah, for sure. Some serious <laughs> you'd birdies. Be really what do y'all surprised. call them? Birdies. Some <laughs> you'd, serious Abby, birdies. You'd be fucking surprised. I'll tell you that. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. No, but That's I mean, thing. yeah. Usually it's like, because there's levels to it, right? We're mm-hmm. always usually at the same table. So like you have a mix of me, Kyle, Ozzy, Gabe's there. Gabe's obviously not a threat. But it's like, and Jimmy's there. <laughs> Jimmy's got a girl. But like it's, there's levels to the shit. Mm-hmm. So it's always like a battle, me, Kyle, Aussie going for like the hottest one. And like, right. you know, like I come on top a lot. I come out on top a lot and you'd be surprised by that. Right. But um, I, just, I mean, no, I mean, you're cool. But I feel like, you know, Kyle. Well, you think Aussie, he's the number one dog? No, I mean, no, I think him and Aussie. Before me? No, I mean, I just feel <laughs> You've like. You've never she's robbed like, a girl from me. What? You've never robbed a girl from me in your life. No, I have not. Which is fucked because I've actually had sloppies one time, twice. Does that mean that one Honestly, of your bros three. was with her before and then? No, like I feel like that's happened before. No, I'll, but I'll that air means, that out. Does that mean does that, that make like, you feel all big and strong? What? Me getting the fucking sloppies? Who are you talking about? Chicken Zona, fucking Chicken Toronto. Chicken? No, this chicken. Uh, oh, chicken. chicken. I was chicken. like, do you call no, them? No, we don't get that crazy. <laughs> <laughs> chicken? Yeah, no, it's happened a couple times, but. Yeah. No, Steiny does good. Yeah. Okay. How are you liking? Because you told me on the phone earlier that like you're new to the. So how are you acclimating with that? What new to what? Just like social media and just oh. kind of like that whole. Because well, I didn't. Excuse me. I didn't know her when you guys were at the clubhouse. Mm-hmm. No, it's it's been great. And like I said, like. I was like Kyle and Steve who really helped my career. Like I'll never forget them and I appreciate them. And it's just been it's been a it's been a good transition. But it's uh, it's been really fun, and it's like, it's really cool to get around people that you know have that same goal. Like we just have that same goal of like, Here you know, we, we go want, again. we want to do the best podcast, we want to do the best videos, and we're all together in this. And I mean, there's fun on the side, right? But we're very like focused first. Like, Steve hit me up the other day too, 
He's like, yo, I can't. I need some handy shit around the house. So I flew to Vegas, helped him out. Like, we're all friends mm-hmm. off camera and shit, too. Uh, but it's been great. Everything's been good. And it's really, like, I'm really grateful, and it's been a really good, like, change for me. And, like, if, if it didn't happen, thanks to Kyle, I wouldn't be here with you two. Like, that's true. That I don't think true. you would respond to my DM if I wasn't. You know what I mean? Sarah definitely would fade me at the gym. True. Definitely. I mean, I responded definitely, right? we have mutual friends and like I knew who you were. No, I know. You're different. You're, you you're a sweetheart. I think no. Sarah would oh. like not give me She's, the time of day. That's not that's, true. I'm, I'm asking. I don't know. I would. If anything, you started hitting me up when I got more clout. You, 100%. Didn't, you knew me when I had like. Oh, that's the no game. Shit. Yeah, you knew me no six, shit, seven right? months ago. Game, you know the game. Like, no dude, shit. It's, it's a crazy freaking world. <laughs> uh, it's crazy. Ugh, that's funny. But I feel like you're lucky. You're very lucky Absolutely. because you have a good group of people around you. Mm-hmm. All luck, no talent? No, I mean, talent See, too. Reader. No, reader. talent too. Talent too. I mean, you wouldn't be, it's 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 a mixture like of said, both, but, right? Right. And it's I a just, mixture of luck, right place, right I kind of want to address what Sarah it just is, said. No offense to cut you off because you were what you were saying was really very serious. But Sarah <laughs> said something about the whole talent thing. And it's like, no, you at, you were at what? Like 400K followers, like what? Six months ago. And now you're at nearing 2 million. Congratulations. Thank you. You don't see that very often. But like with... With you, you blew up really quick. Like, what would you, what would you give credit for that? All luck, no talent. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you're getting. At. Yeah, yeah. No, I think consistency. I think my thing is consistency. Yeah. Uh, can I ask you guys something like serious? Do you think, like, do you ever think that you kind of overlook how I, I'm absolutely grateful, but like, I had to go through a lot of shit to get here. Like, how quick you guys blow up and. People obviously help both put you both on. What do you mean by like overlook? Like it's like really fast. Because girls a lot of the time can go from like being behind the scenes. So are you talking about the blow up process or are you talking about how overlooking people that might have helped that process? A little bit of both. I mean, how could you? I mean, if you're a, a you know, a person who self reflects and looks at life and you go from having a normal life to having a not so normal life. I mean, I feel like you consider everything along the way. Yeah. But I think, um, you know, for me, it was crazy. It took me years to really acclimate because I feel like no human's really built to receive that type of attention um, from that many people. It's just not natural. Um, So it took me a while to kind of acclimate to that. But my journey, I mean, I wouldn't change anything. Um. Uh, kind of would want to change one thing, but it was all part of the journey. Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel like, of course, I mean, I feel like I've always, um, you know, been very open and real about kind of the journey I've had and how I've gotten to where I've gotten. Um, but I just don't think it's okay when you hold that over someone's head. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, sure. I feel like that's not healthy. Um, because, you know, in that moment, whoever, you know, you were growing with or making content with it's like obviously they wanted to make it too yeah so, that's a good point that's it's like point. it benefited you sure so but they, you do they, it they, and they then know you, that right that's why they're yeah doing it. but then it's kind of just like but then it's looking back they don't see that they saw it as a one-side if you benefit have an opportunity, yeah. if you have an opportunity like to say thank you to anybody would you do that or no no, I already I, have personally. Oh, okay. What about you, sir? I tell Brad thank you nowhere. every day because I know that's what you're hinting at. I tell him I thank you. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? Nearly. I'm every- friend zoned, right? What? Okay. Uh, yeah. Are we good? Why are you being? What you you you? So you bow out of of conversations where you feel pressed a little bit? No, I'm just fucking. We did a fu- two hour full send pod. So this is like, like not as important to you. No, you're a ama- mate. What are you what are you talking about? It sounds like you just want to like get it done, wipe your hands clean and, you know, like we both drove hours to get here. Yeah, I mean, you just brought up something insinuating <laughs> that we didn't thank the people who put us on and as then, if we people well, no, followed okay. us cuz they looked at us and they wanted to. Okay, the only reason you know? I did I I showed a lot of praise to Kyle, I showed a lot of praise to Steve and shit. So I was just seeing if like I I like I know my roots and stuff and I like to say thank you to certain people. So I, I just, feel that. I wanted to give you guys the opportunity too. Yeah. It's just the right thing to do. Right. You know? So I don't want to be pressed by that. No, I'm not pressing you, but you and Kyle still have a friendship, still yeah, have a business, boy. business relationship. He's sitting right there. It's easier for you to say thank you than for you haven't said Abby to sit there. Well, he also will Me? never. I'm just chilling. I mean, you're, you're going on your thing. He also has never and would never treat you like shit. 
Because no, that's just I not the person he is. Facts. So, or really anybody, not. you know, that rocks with Gabe's kind of mean to me. Out yeah. of love. Yeah, straight up. It's like a flirting tactic. It's fucking weird. Do you okay. like it? Huh? Do you like it? No. It's kind of funny sometimes. He's starting to smile. All right, guys. Uh, this was so fun. It was amazing having both of you. Um, Thank you. Thanks for introducing me to Abby. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, new now friends. I made a new friend. Bond. Thank you. Learn from Snapchat. I made two new friends. Yes. Yeah, fuck <laughs> it. It's fucking crazy. CEO, always a pleasure. Thank you so much for coming on. Yeah, I'll be here. We, we need you. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, Tiny. That's it. <laughs> like, comment, Yay. subscribe. Pussies. <laughs> <laughs>